Today we're going to be going through the craziest, most mind-boggling plastic surgeries that you have probably ever even seen or not seen. Be surprised to be shocked, be surprised to be surprised, and be surprised to have your mind actually blown. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Midanveed Singh, an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK. And I hope you've all been keeping well and keeping safe. And I hope you've all been watching some educational content out there. Here we've got Jocelyn Wildenstein, and she is known as the Catwoman. She completely changed her face. You can see here from the very first picture to the second one, her face has completely changed. She's had so many surgeries. She's actually a billionaire. So money to her is no object. She has spent so much and she's had a ridiculous number of operations that she's completely changed her face to look like a cat. Um, I don't know whether that's the look that she was going for. One thing for sure is it does not look good. It looks completely terrible. The fact that a surgeon would even allow someone to take the surgery and procedures this far is beyond belief. And what I can reassuringly say is, is that doctors like myself, I am not a plastic surgeon, but I would never counsel or allow a patient to take a procedure this far down the road to deform their face to this amount. There is always something deeper underlying which is not quite right on a psychological level and those things need to be looked at and unfortunately I don't think this lady has had the help that she needs and to be honest she's probably so rich that she's probably just paid someone to do it but an actual plastic surgeons who are reputable probably actually refused to do the operation in the first place. Next we've got Rodrigo Alves. Rodrigo Alves wanted to look like the human Ken doll so he's had multiple plastic surgeries to change his jaw, change the cheeks, change the forehead structure to look like the Ken doll. What's even more interesting is that later on he wanted to look like the human Barbie version. So he's gone from this to this. So he's become a female. He's become the real life human female Barbie version. So again more surgeries, more procedures, more cosmetic enhancements as you can see and actually a complete gender change. He's actually gone on to have over 50 plastic surgeries done. Here we've got Pixie Fox. You can see in this first picture, she looks very normal. And let me show you the second picture. She actually had six ribs removed so that she could get a slimmer waist. And she wears tight corsets to slim down that waist. On top of that, there's an obvious breast enlargement that's been done as well. And it's all because she wanted to look like the character from Roger Rabbit, Jessica Rabbit. She's had breast surgeries, nose jobs, facelifts, jaw remodeling, even the ears have been molded to become more elf-like. How she looks, I'll leave up to you. Next, we have Natasha Crown, and she's known for having the biggest bottom in the whole world. Yep, even larger than Kim Kardashian. Don't know really what more to say about this. It doesn't look good, it doesn't look impressive, but the one thing I can tell you is that those people who have back street surgeries or back alley surgeries as it's known, well, here's a little bit of information. There's quite a few have been dropping down dead because of blood clots or sepsis. Sepsis is a severe infection, spreads around the rest of the body. It's so severe that even with intervention, one's going to struggle to look after the patient and they unfortunately end up dying. So next we've got Hang Myoku. At the age of 28, she was a Korean model who could also sing. She was very famous in her time. The problem was she relied on plastic surgery from the age of 28 onwards and her obsession led to her wanting more and more and her own doctors actually refused. So you can see in the picture, she looks very nice. But when her doctors refused to give her more plastic surgery, she decided to inject silicon into her own face. But silicon was quite expensive. So what did she decide to do? Yeah, that's right, get cooking oil and inject it into her face. Now, you don't have to be a doctor or anything like that to know that cooking oil is not meant to go in your face, it's there to cook vegetables. So what do you think happened to her face? She completely destroyed her face because of injecting cooking oil. She's damaged the fat layers, she's damaged the muscle layers, the structural integrity of what allows our face to be our face was completely destroyed. All these people have some form of a psychological problem something that needs to really be addressed. Thankfully, her doctors initially said no, 
But because the psychological problem was not addressed, that's why she went on to inject cooking oil into the face. She's had multiple surgeries to try to correct this, but doesn't matter how good of a plastic surgeon you are, you will not be able to get structural integrity back to the face as it once was of what God gave you. Here we've got Eric the Lizard Man. I remember him being on Ripley's Believe It or Not as the Lizard Man. He's had multiple implants to his head, significant tattooing of his skin and splitting of his tongue to allow the forked action of what you would see for different reptiles such as snakes and lizards. Because the tongue has two muscles on either side, they can move independently and therefore by forming the split, he's able to move both sides independently of each other. In this next one, you can see corset piercings. It's some kind of weird fashion or let's say nighttime peculiar activity of some people. But this is some kind of fashion thing that is on the rise where people actually have piercings to appear like corsets on the back. These things can lead to severe infections damage to your skin. Here you can see people who have dermal implants or saline injections on their face. Again, there are some other countries around the world where the native people do certain types of skin or cartilage molding, um, but yet yeah, these people do not look native to those areas. Don't know what kind of fashion this is. So if you guys know, please, you know, put it in the comments down below so you can, so you can teach me. It's not something that I would do, but useful for me to learn about. And here we've got the famous cat man. This person was also on Ripley's Believe It or Not. And that's where I first found out about this many years ago when I was a child. This person's had tattooing of the skin, has had implants to the face and the head area, has had molding of the ears, has had filing of the teeth done to appear like a tiger and also has had metal implants into the upper lip area to resemble whiskers. This doesn't really fall into plastic surgery, but it forms into body modification or body molding. Certain types of body molding are common in different countries around the world, such as making the lip larger or the ear lobes larger. And that's a common thing that can be seen. But these people you can see have taken it to a different level, but I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to show you some interesting things from around the world. There are complications that can happen with these things. You can get infections, deformity, and imagine the psychological impact if you want to revert to what you were before, you no longer will be able to because the skin would have stretched or the underlying tissues would have deformed or broken down. Well, I hope that was good. I hope it was informative. If you want to see more videos like that, comment down below what you would like to watch and remember to like, share and subscribe. And remember, keep safe everyone. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.